What's going on guys, Shady Mike, and welcome to episode 3 of my NBA 2K20 modding showcase. Got a lot of cool stuff for you guys. Hopefully you guys will enjoy. I um, want to start us off with a quick disclaimer. Um, all of these mods are on PC. As of right now, there are no way to get any of these mods on the PS4 or the Xbox One. But before you click off the video, um, this is a great way to see um, some of the pros and cons of playing on PC, what's available in terms of modding. And uh, if any of you were interested in making the switch, these are a couple of good reasons why. So I'm gonna take you through some mods and um, let's get right into it. Also, if you guys didn't know, recently I started a Discord server called the 2K Modding Society. And while it is uh, mainly based around mods, we also talk rosters, sliders, sports, things of that nature. So feel free to join, link is in the description. So I want to start us off today with a cyber face and with all of the hype around the last dance, I said, why not focus on the player who's chasing the ghost of Michael Jordan, uh, the player who's in pursuit of that goat title, uh, greatest of all time, um, the, the player that in many people's eyes, some of the more modern people feel that it has already claimed that title um and that's obvious you know i'm talking about laker legend alex caruso all jokes aside um alex caruso is a laker fan favorite a, a solid player who you know who's made some really exciting and spectacular plays coming off the bench for you know this exciting lakers team um and this mod is an awesome mod um, pretty much just gives us the opportunity to add his headband that he wears you can add him to wear it all the time you can edit the frequency that he wears it have him wear, wear it frequently often or you know even sometimes where he barely puts it on but um, it's just awesome to have that functionality and that capability um, but in all seriousness uh, next we are going to get into this uh, LeBron James cyber face and let me just say this is where you start to see the 2K modding community pull away from the 2K developers. When you look at this profile, this this body, the Kobe tattoo, that 2K just didn't bother to update him and add um, just the attention to detail. I mean, this, this model looks like it's pulled from a different game. Um, you know, and when LeBron is in transition doing his dunks and doing all this crazy stuff, um, you really see that. And, and this is a phenomenal cyber face. Um, and uh, in my opinion, a must have uh, to enhance your NBA 2K20 experience. For this next mod, I'll start with a question. Do you miss the old days? Not the old, old days, but the, you know, slightly old days, the early 2000s, Tracy McGrady, Yao Ming, T-Mac, Dirk, you know, Iverson, that era, I'd even say early young Carmelo Anthony and young LeBron. Um, do you miss the look of that era, the way they were wearing the jerseys? If you do, this mod is for you. This is a loose jersey mod by DBs. Um, this mod I, I actually think is really cool. Uh, it kind of emulates that old jersey physics. Guys were wearing loose jerseys, things of that nature. You know, it just kind of brings that to mid, I don't want to say early 2000s, but that mid 2000s, 2004, 2005, you know, really prime Kobe, Kobe days, in my opinion. And then uh, T-Mac, I would say too, before the injury. So big fan of this mod. If you're a fan of that look, definitely check this one out. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot, if you have questions about this Ben Simmons Sixers jersey or this Sixers court, stay tuned, I'll be covering that in a future video here shortly. Okay, so for this next mod, let me ask you a question. Are you tired of magical green lights showing up under your opponent whenever they shoot a three, spoiling the outcome of the shot? Are you tired of feeling like you're in a Chris Smoove video every time the CPU takes a jump shot, you know, with the little splash emblem at the bottom? Well, if you are like I am, 
I think that this mod is for you. Now, this is the uh, player indicator remover by Luya. Um, this mod does exactly what it says it does. It removes the player indicator under your player. Now, let me explain because there is a massive catch here, which really kind of sucks, but I'm very thankful and grateful for the mod regardless. But this mod comes in two versions. One that completely removes every icon under your feet, you know, the green light and everything. The only problem is it also removes like the defensive indicator. So you have a no idea who to guard. And obviously, you know, it's it's kind of tough, especially when guys are switching. You don't really know. And for me, it's just been too hard to play with. I love the look and the presentation, but I can't get around not knowing how to guard or not knowing who to guard. However, it is nice to not have those green splash emblems spoiling, you know, to know if the CPU is going to hit a shot. However, it does come in, I guess we can call it a light version that does uh, remove the indicator most of the time, especially on offense. However, it still shows the takeover emblems and it still shows uh, the green splashes. But the good thing is, is it still shows who you guard on defense. So little bit of hit or miss, a little bit give or take. Uh, you can't win all these battles. We can just hope that in NBA 2K21, uh, 2K gives us the option to turn this nonsense off. And last but not least, our featured mod of the day. As you can see in the background, we're gonna be taking a look at the Summer Circuit Drew League NBA 2K20 total conversion mod this joint is crazy so this is a complete overhaul of nba 2k 20 play now um featuring all of, you know the summer circuit teams the drew league teams um jordan basketball um just an awesome collection of different teams and things of that nature this is a complete overhaul as you can see it overhauls the start menu it overhauls the soundtrack it just overhauls every aspect of the game let's go a little bit more in detail and show you guys some of the teams that are involved with this mod so as you come over to the play now you've got the infamous crossover league you've got puma hoops the world team um bay area pro-am uh the goodman league the chosen league and one shout out hot sauce shout out the professor main event escalade uh the shy league with uh you know young d rose d wade covington of course and of course anthony davis um nike basketball uh rucker park legends ai kobe and of course dr j um who who can forget uh some of the stories of dr j at rucker park and the people coming out to see dr j julius irving sixer legend uh venice beach basketball mamba sports academy um i'm not sure what aebl stands for um drew league redemption Jumpman basketball, of course. Um, some of the uh, Jordan sponsor guys. Um, Drew League, no snacks. Got the Ball Brothers in that joint. Big ballers. Um, Drew League all in. Um, Black Ops basketball. It'd be cool if they had Hoodie Mellow. Um, two hype and friends, Orlando Pro Am. Shout out Jason Williams. Oh my goodness. Um, Drew League problems. Dykeman basketball, of course. Um, Drew League, I, I forget. I think that team stands for most hated, but I forget. Um, Drew League public enemy. James Harden's out there. Um, Houston Pro Am. Drew League tough crowd. Brandon Jennings. Shout out. Um, OVO bounce. Shout out Drizzy Drake. Uh, Drew League BB4L with Trey, um, the Dream Team, and then you got the WNBA All Stars. So, um, some really, really cool stuff here. So, here you have a look 
at the Jordan uh, Jumpman Arena. And, uh, you know, you can just see just the attention to detail, the summer circuit branding that you've got. I mean, this is a complete overhaul of the game. I mean, oh my goodness, this is incredible. This is one of the coolest looking uh, mods that we've seen so far this year. There's so much included here that I can't cover at all. The video will be 28 minutes if I did, but definitely check that out if you're into it. Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. The links to all of these mods will be in the description below. Uh, if you like this content, do me a favor, leave a like on the video and subscribe for more NBA 2K20 content. If you want to continue the discussion further, join my Discord, the NBA 2K20 Modding Society. The link for that is also going to be in the description. And if for whatever reason you can't figure out how to install one of these mods, check out my modding tutorial. I have that linked at the end of the video. Other than that, guys, Shady Mike, take care.